Mr. Hardison, why is it so difficult, do you think, to get a human penis for your museum? I've got foxes, minks, house mouse, field mouse, rats, pigs, horses, rams, bulls, reindeer, polar bears, seals, and walrus, minky whales, killer whales. I've been collecting for almost 40 years now. I've got specimens from all species except one. Without the proper human, the, the collection is not complete. Mr. Arafson, his letter of donation was the first in 1996. Yes, I have to get And here is Mr. Arafson's future resting place. Then, in 2001, came the America. I'm Tom Mitchell, and I have decided to donate my penis to the only penis museum in the world before I die. He calls his penis Elmo. It's very important to me that Elmo be the first human specimen in your museum. I decided to remove my genitals completely. When visitors walk into the penis museum in Iceland and they first set eyes on Elmo. Wow, you have stars and stripes on your penis. I'd like them to know that the largest and best one came from the States. He was driving me crazy. I've always had a dream of fame and fortune for Elmo. Paul Blarason is a famous guy in Iceland. That would be extremely valuable. He's your preference to the Icelander. It kind of pisses me off. I'm not the problem. He is the problem. It's possible that he will say no. That I don't know if it's going to happen. Artists, they die without finishing the work. If you want anything done, you need to see to it yourself. This is a document where I donate my penis to the Icelandic Phallological Museum. So this tattoo you're doing may be the one and only tattoo you do in your whole career that will be here hundreds of years from now. Did you like that? Now, I've got more news on Kurt Russell ruling himself out of Expendables. But first, we'll tell you that Kurt Russell may be about to join the Fast and Furious Ensemble for the seventh film in the series. And the one franchise he seems keen to give a wide berth to is the Expendables, saying that playing a role in the film would seem like looking backwards. Well, I can agree with him on that one. As to his character in Fast and Furious 7, it had been assumed that Russell will be playing a kind of father figure to the late Paul Walker, but according to recent reports, he will be far more linked to Vin Diesel's protagonist. Directed by James Wan, Fast and Furious 7 will open in 2015. Remember, check us out on Facebook, Film Is Now, and like us to make sure you keep updated. Bye-bye.